Hey guys, uh, Phil and Kenny here today. We uh, we, so we got an emergency call. What's going on? Emergency call. No, we um, you know we're we're reacting. I think like most of the world is right now to the kind of growing conversation and you know impending charges that are coming from mm -hmm. you know um, like retailers passing on credit card fees to consumers. Um, you know, this thing kind of started, it seems like it started really innocently that it was just something they were noodling, but it looks like more and more, you know, from, I think it started with, with folks like Telus talking about possibly doing this to now, you know, really like this is picking up some steam. No, Kenny. Anyway, it, it, it is worrisome. It's very worrisome. Um, you know, if you, if you if you think if you think of Telus and people those sizes, um, that are that are worried about you know one and a half to three percent charges, it's no wonder little people are starting to really worry about it. So I don't know if you got you got there was the one I, I I don't know if I shared it with you. I got it got shared to me to the point where I sent it back to to the guys for this for the store, saying, hey, listen, like how do we want to do this? Um, you know. I, I, you know, do we, do we want to take credit card? I mean, we're a small grocer. I, I think we can get away with not taking credit card, realizing that, yes, a lot of people, I may lose a bunch of people. I think I was telling um, someone the other day, you know, I, I, if I get a $10 purchase, for example, in the city right now, right? So you come in and buy milk, uh, maybe some lettuce and some apples or something, and you need a bag mm -hmm. um, and you want to pay by credit card. Well, on a $10 purchase, Let's say on something like that because of the milk. Um, let's say we're down, let's say we're at a, at a thirty margin, ten. So on a ten dollar purchase, we're going to make three dollars, right? I have to charge, or I have to pay twenty cents for the bag that I have to that I'm going to give you. So I, if I don't charge you for it, I eat that twenty. If I don't charge you for the credit card fees, I eat that other twenty because that's two percent of the ten. Right. So on a three dollar profit margin 40 cents or what is that almost 15 percent of it just left the building i, I didn't yeah. do anything yeah so now i'm going to be charging you for the bag so i'm going to you know hey phil would you like a bag yes i do i click a button you're going to get charged 20 cents yeah. phil how do you want to pay credit card i click another button i'm going to charge another two yeah. percent like see on a retailer side like i think that's really difficult to do like, I don't know how we're, I don't, I, I'm seriously going to have to have a conversation with, I don't know how we're going to do this without pissing a ton of people off. So right now, my inclination is, is that I, I think we're going to have an open debt. I don't think, I think there's a high probability that I'm going to say we don't take credit card. We take debit and I don't even want to do cash because I worry about, you know, all the, the inherent things like mental on that side yeah. too. I don't want to get into, yeah. you know, somebody had knocked on the head because of a $10 bill. So yeah. maybe it's debit only. So where do you go with this though? I think what's important too, though, is just to distinguish for a second, right? Because even when you and I were talking about this, I actually got this wrong for a sec, right? Is um, just remember that like part of this is, this is a, a, a retailer basically passing on the cost of the credit card, right? So in the it's same way that a few weeks ago, we talked about price increases and how, <clears throat> and how not simple price increases are. Um, this is another one of those where, you know, in some senses, like, you know, I'll leave the cell phone company because I feel like cell phone companies um, generate a lot of rage already. So we won't talk cell phone companies, no. but if you talk grocer like you, you know, they are trying to manage costs. They're trying to control costs. So, um, you know, passing on the credit card, um, charge is also about managing costs, right? Is is trying to figure out how to, you know, trying to figure out how how to keep costs down and keep that final retail, you know, ticket. No, item. it's a big deal. Yeah. yeah. On that ten dollar purchase yeah. for a small grocer, if, if between a the bay, between that between credit card fees, yeah. you know. And then if you want to throw on, like, say you, you threw pop in there, then you got those charges. Like the consumer is, is there's a, there's a shit ton of charges yeah. that yeah. 
that the retailer can't eat. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because so you know they, you know they're all panicked about inflation. Inflation. You know you want a two percent inflation. There it is. Right. Right there. For what? For the for the yeah. privilege of using a credit card, yeah. which the interest rates are exorbitant if you don't pay. And unfortunately, like you and I probably clean our cards every month. I don't want to carry a twenty percent debt. Yeah. But I know a lot of people who can't do that. Yeah. Correct. So they're carrying that. They make money on that. They're making money on the usage of the card. Right. I mean, they're spending trillions on advertising. Stop the advertising. Put that back in your pocket. You know, instead of jamming us on the other side, because grocery is already expensive enough. Everything's expensive enough. These little things, nobody thinks they're a big deal. They add up really fast. It's yeah. Really fast. You, you actually wonder, like, so in this equation of, you know, so so the these topics conflate a little mm -hmm. bit. And I think that's where Kenny and I also, you know, felt some of this as well is, is you kind of go. We we're talking about price increases. We're talking about managing costs. This is one where an outside partner, Visa, MasterCard, you know, you name it, Amex, if you want to think Whatever. of it that way, like all of these guys, they can help out with this consumer, you know, inflation stuff. Like maybe they need to find a happy medium. Maybe there's a way to freeze fees for a little bit or manage them down, cut the advertising, you know, so that there's ways for them to save money on their yeah. side. Yeah. That you don't have to jam us on this side. Yeah. It's just one of those things right now. Consumers have been hit from every angle. Yeah. Right. And everybody's trying to find someone to 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 blame. Like you and I've had these discussions where, oh, the retailer should slow down the price increase. Sure. The retailer could stop taking the price increases. You won't have anything on the shelf. Yeah. Or you'll have the industry behind that'll yeah. work. I mean, you pick your poison. Yeah. Yeah. Sooner or later, those costs, I mean, the cost increases are real. They're happening. Yeah right at the base of raw material all the way through the system someone's going to eat it and then when you have these additional fees right like i mean honestly in our city like the fee of the bag it's for the right reasons i'm not i'm not i'm not arguing that but on a ten dollar purchase it's two percent it's tough i take a pin pad in the yeah. store i got to pay for the pin pad i take a credit card i got to pay for the credit card before you start yeah. to know it i mean you know someone's got it Someone's got to help out with 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 the cost of it, right? I don't know. I just find it really, really frustrating right now. That that to me is more what you said. It's so easy for companies those sizes to basically say, "Listen, in this time of you know, you know, we're scared inflation, interest rates are going up. You know what? We're just going to hold back the fees for." I know that's I know that's, that's, that's you know, yeah, bad to, I get it. Yeah, but you yeah. know, come on, really. Like, I don't think their profit margins are that tight. To be fair. I don't think so either. Anyway, this is our fast thought. Um, we've definitely probably left more questions than answers out there. But probably. I think um, for us, we, we thought it was important to tie the two. So you start to see it's not, you know, the, the consumer and the consumer, the brand, the retailer conversation is not a simple one. And there are other players that can help out in the cost equation. So um, if we fired some neurons, if uh, you chime in. disagree with us, chime in, throw us some comments. Um, and yeah. uh, thank you for listening to that fast. We'll see you next time.